Alright, what's going on guys? It's Alman. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the combat knife because recently, I, uh, if you guys saw, uh, I got Damascus on my Cali sticks. So within that, I finished my knife because the thing is to unlock the Cali sticks, you have to do 15 kills, uh, something like that. What was it? 15, 15 kills get like 3 sliding kills. But instead, what I just did was in, th in those matches, uh, I just kept on going for my, you know, my obsidian knife. Uh, when it comes to emblem wise, I don't know how far I am when it comes to getting the actual melee weapon obsidian Let's see. I'm a 31 out of 125. So I'll probably go for this at one point It's just because you know, it's might as well just cause I have not much I don't have much to do so it's like might as well just go for challenges like these But yeah, we'll talk about the knife and how the challenges are because honestly I feel like if you do want if you're the type of person that wants a uh, mastery like emblem or anything like that But you just don't know which one's the easy one, which one's a hard one. The knife is, uh, to me, honestly, has is been the, like the easiest one. So if you do want like an, your own mastery emblem, mm -hmm. you want your first one or something like that, like an easy one, I'd say go for the knife. Like if you do have a gold, or like if you have already everything Damascus and you're the type of person that's still going for Damascus, maybe, you know, in your free time, just go for like a gold, uh, go for a gold knife and go for the challenges. Because honestly, it's, you might as well just flex some type of mastery emblem. I, I know that there's like multiple emblems that are animated Animated and people like animated emblems and like the ones that come out sometimes they're in packs and everything but I feel like mastery emblems do have its own partake into when it comes to stuff like that so I would recommend at least just going for something but yeah let's go into the challenges uh, when it comes to the gold calling card I'm almost done I just have five more kills just never bothered to finish it probably won't finish it till I start going for obsidian knife but I don't think I'm gonna go for obsidian knife not till there's like another 24 7 shipment like I get like there's the shoot the rusty helps and everything like that but the thing about that is uh, when it comes to stuff like that I haven't gotten shipment that's the thing I've been getting rust more than shoot house more than rust or more than shipment I just keep getting rust 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 like I like rust is a cool map like I get it uh, people like it just because it's iconic and everything but I get tired of rust dude, because people just keep camping up on top camping on the second floor and everything it's just not as fun but when it comes to like shipment or like shoe house uh, I don't really see people camping in the office I see people more camping on the on the wall getting their mounted kills but that's fine everyone's doing it and because like there's team people on the other side trying to go for the killing each other but when it comes to like rust people on top and everything like that can't really do much but yeah, so gold wise, I'll finish it. Uh, I finished my double kill, so I do have the platinum calling card. I'm not gonna use the platinum calling card. I really love my nuke card, and there's no point in me changing that. I did get a nuke with a certain class setup, so you guys will see that class setup, and uh, me dropping a nuke within the coming days. Probably not w Tuesday or Wednesday, maybe like on a Thursday, or something like that. Don't know yet because I've been scheduling these videos out. So this video or that's coming out should be on a Tuesday. And you guys should have already seen me unlock my uh, mastery emblems for my crossbow. And that was a, probably a day before that. Because I usually Wednesdays I do my co-op video. And that's my plan. And then try to finish the whole co-op mission. And then give you guys my brief explanation on how to do those. Because I know those are tough. And there will probably be a new uh, new thing that you can unlock within co-op. Within the coming days. Or so probably. It resets on Tuesday usually. So we'll see. But if you guys haven't gotten your bison, I would recommend it. So, uh, you know, it's a free bison. You guys aren't going to get that anytime soon. Because there hasn't they don't rotate every so often. But yeah, back into this. Because I keep going off in attention. 50 kills while behind an enemy. That's straightforward. Literally just go behind them. And play, especially like if you're on shipment. Like, dude, like no one's there. Everyone just... Well, I mean, there's people there. Yeah, I get that. But the thing is, like, no one pays attention behind them. Everyone's focused in front of them because there's so much chaos going on. So, I mean, I would do this in core 100% just run a riot shield on your back. And it pisses people off anyways. Like, I pissed off one guy by just using a Damascus riot shield. And he would just be like, like oh, bro, you have no, no skill, no skill. It's like, bro, I'm just going for my challenges. Just like everybody else. It's not like I'm tryharding my ass off. But, uh, yeah, 50 kills from behind. Straightforward. Uh, 25 kills of sliding. This one's like a bit iffy because I, just for me personally, I don't slide. I don't know about you guys. If you guys slide here and there, I'm not a sliding type person. I'm, I'm I usually jump corners and stuff like that. So this one's kind of annoying for me. But uh, then it wasn't that bad. So sliding with a knife isn't even that bad because if they're running away or something like that, you can easily just slide behind them. And plus, you do get a little bit of range with your knife and the mobility. So especially if you're running double time, I would recommend double time in your class. We're running like double time ghost and well, not even ghost i mean you can run high alert because you don't need ghost on shipment but i would run like high alert and like maybe a uh, battle harden just in case people throw stuns because they really do get tired of your stuff 
and honestly just to combat it you start using stuns too or just run gas piss people off anyways uh next one is 75 kills and smoke uh not too bad just because you can have like you and your friends if you have like any friends or maybe like you need a person uh just let me know in the comments you guys do have my xbox gamer tag so you guys can add me uh it's called the real almond so you guys can always add me just ask me questions or dm me on uh, xbox i'm always on anyways um but yeah just uh 75 kills and smoke just keep you in a friend just keep throwing smokes all over the place and that will cause people to get butter start running thermals but uh you can get your challenges way quicker so this only took me like a few matches maybe two matches at most uh because i got like i can drop a lot of kills with a knife and just search and destroy or not search and destroy and shipment just because everyone's just sitting there doing their own thing and they're not paying attention from behind and the last one is the 10 double kills while using tracker perk that's not that bad either because a lot of people are grouped up on shipment especially when they spawn so you can easily just stun them or throw smoke at them and just run at them and then you'll be fine so yeah, honestly, these challenges are not that hard. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it to anybody if you want to get it done. Uh, when it comes to doing this in Warzone, um, good luck with this. I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna, do, if you're a Warzone player and just want to do Warzone challenges, yeah, good luck with these because I don't think you'll you'll be able to finish these. I mean, you could. I mean, you definitely could. It's just that I feel like it's gonna take way longer, especially the ones 75 kills in smoke or like getting double kills with tracker. Yeah, good luck with those. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the emblems. Let's do that quick showcase and we'll end off the video from there. Let's go to our barracks, let's go to our um, identity emblems, let's go to our knife, it's way up here. Uh, I do have an MP5 type of mastery video done because I do have Obsidian locked on there and I finished all the challenges, even the calling cards. So I'll have a mastery video coming out for that soon. So let's go all the way to the knife, where is it at? Um, let's see, let's see. Comment, I, I remember it was next to the crossbow. I don't know, because this is MK... There we go, I passed it because I do have my laptop in front of me. So here's gold. Uh, I wish the knife was, like you can put your own custom variant on the knife type of thing. Like let's say I have the firecracker knife like you guys saw with like the presidents and everything like that. I wish I could have that as my emblem. That would be pretty sick. It's a cool concept. So here's the gold one. Here's platinum and Damascus, which is eh. Uh, but I really wouldn't run the knife. I mean, for me personally, because I've gone for so many mastery emblems, uh i probably wouldn't the only probably mastery emblem i would run is probably the the snipers because the recent new, new sniper is just i forgot even the name um but yeah that one it just covers like the really big sniper and i really like that it's a different type of thing and i feel like not many people are going to be running that but yeah, i do have a lot of emblems i'm at 215 out of 375 or 77 the thing is i don't think that's all the emblems in the game i think those are counting like stuff that you have to buy so when it comes to that type of stuff i'm not gonna be buying emblems there's no point because like i'm unlocking emblems that you can get for free like i have a lot of these and these are just for free or challenges like this is from a challenge and a lot of people still uh, run it same thing as this one this one's a challenge too i didn't buy this uh if you guys do want to see how i go unlock this emblem just let me know drop a like because i don't think not many people have to unlock this and it's a really cool emblem and honestly in my opinion i would probably be running this instead of my emblem that i'm running right now but the thing is i'm just running the mastery emblem right now because not many people are rocking it as i thought and yeah so i'll run this for a while maybe down the line but yeah uh thanks for watching the video guys don't forget to leave a like don't forget to comment let me know what you think of the video uh don't forget to subscribe almost at 300 subs hopefully we can reach it by the end of july so just so i can know that i should still be making type these types of videos and just know i can progress as a youtuber and everything like that but yeah i'll talk to you guys in my next video peace out guys